Buzz Lightyear of Star Command is an American animated science fiction, adventure, comedy series produced by Walt Disney Television Animation. The series aired on UPN and ABC from October 2000 to January 2001 as part of Disney's One Saturday Morning and Disney's One Two programming blocks. It follows the adventures of Space Ranger Buzz Lightyear, who first appeared as an action figure in the 1995 film Toy Story. The series is preceded by the 2000 direct-to-video film Buzz Lightyear of Star Command, The Adventure Begins, which was also aired as the first three episodes of the series. Story. Buzz Lightyear of Star Command takes place in the far future. Capital Planet is the forefront of the Galactic Alliance, a peaceful union of various planets, home to various alien species that coexist in harmony with one another. Star Command is a peacekeeping organization consisting of space rangers, who investigate threats to galactic peace. The primary enemy of Star Command is the evil Emperor Zerg, an intergalactic crime boss that rules an empire of heavily armed robots and slave races forced to work in opposition to the Galactic Alliance. The series features Buzz Lightyear, a famous, experienced space ranger who takes a crew of rookies under his wing as he investigates criminal activity across the galaxy, and attempts to bring down evil Emperor Zerg once and for all. Topic Characters Topic Star Command Topic Team Lightyear Captain Buzz Lightyear, voiced by Patrick Warburton, famed space ranger known for heroism and bravery. Buzz often suggests that his arch villain Emperor Zerg is behind every evil plot and is often proven correct. Like his Toy Story incarnation, Buzz is a stickler for procedure, but will tell a cover story if he needs to. However, he has few people skills, and at times displays a lack of common sense. He attended PS 193, that's 6859, as a primary school. He wrote at least half of the regulations in the Star Command manual. He also owns a house on Capital Planet, though as they all look alike and his duties often keep him away, he is confused over just which one is his. To compare this animation and the Toy Story films, the button between the red and blue ones is green in the Toy Story films and yellow in this animation with the releasing of strings when pressed. He seems to have a little crush on Dr. Ozma Furbana and vice versa. Princess Mira Nova voiced by Nicole Sullivan, a rookie ranger and heir to the Tangian throne. She utilizes her people's ability to phase through walls called ghosting and read minds. Buzz has a tendency to refer to her as princess when he's angry with her. She acts as Buzz's co-pilot and second in command. She has the most common sense of the team. Mira also has an estranged relationship with her father, King Nova, who disapproves of her choice of being a space ranger, though deep down she still cares about him. She has red hair and turquoise skin. Booster Sinclair Munchapper, voiced by Stephen First, a huge dinosaur-like former janitor from the agricultural planet of Joad, a play on the name of the Joad family, from John Steinbeck's The Grapes of Wrath. He has a big appetite and incredible strength, but is sweet and occasionally naive. He is in awe of Buzz Lightyear and has encyclopedic knowledge of his prior adventures. XR voiced by Larry Miller and Neil Flynn, a short robot that was originally emotionless and programmed to learn from Buzz, but was blown apart by Agent Z during his first mission. 
The LGMs rebuilt him, but the temporary loss of the Uni mind to Emperor Zerg left them off their game. They rebuilt XR with his slicker, more emotional personality and a variety of attachments. XR stands for Experimental Ranger. The LGMs have stated that this is the official meaning of the name, though other characters on the show hold the erroneous belief that the X stands for Expendable. He gets blown apart on nearly every mission he goes on, but is easily rebuilt. He considers Commander Nebula his father due to his signing the paperwork authorizing his creation and is always seeking his approval. Other personnel Commander Nebula voiced by Adam Carolla, the Space Rangers commander and Buzz's superior, whose left leg was replaced by a pegleg-like plasma cannon. Rather short-tempered and constantly speaks with a loud voice. He has a robotic desk that forces him to do his paperwork. He hates to do so, though, and therefore signs forms without looking at them. By doing so, he inadvertently gave permission for the creation of XR, who therefore considers him a father. He thought the form was the LGM's vacation request. Nebula is frequently irritated by this, though he gives XR his due for his successes. LGMs, or Little Green Men voiced by Patrick Warburton, the LGMs are small, three-eyed aliens originally appeared as squeeze toy aliens in the Toy Story movies. They are the intensely loyal backbone of Star Command, keeping the station running while inventing, maintaining all of the equipment. When one of their own is kidnapped, the other LGMs will instinctively try to rescue him by any means necessary. LGMs are typically in awe of Buzz. While they generally like the other rangers, they may not be able to tell one from another. Several of their race are also shown to work for Santa Claus, acting as his toy builders. Ty Parsec voiced by Steve Hitner, Ty is the infamous old comrade of Buzz Lightyear, who is fed up with Buzz always coming to his rescue. The Space Ranger was accidentally transformed into the robotic wirewolf equivalent of a werewolf on the planet of Canis Lunis, after being bitten by the villain NOS-4A2 while exposed to radioactive moonrock. Appeared in two episodes, with a cameo appearance in the episode, War, Peace, and War. He is ultimately cured and reinstated as a Space Ranger. Rocket Crockett voiced by Phil Lamar, member of Star Command and leader of Team Rocket. He has been Buzz's rival since their Academy days. Petra Hammerhold voiced by Nikki Cox, Senator Hammerhold's daughter. She joined Star Command when her father forced her to do so largely to keep her from her boyfriend Plasma Boy. She was initially resentful of this, but was moved by Buzz's heroism during a crisis. Plasma Boy voiced by Michael Showalter, Petra's boyfriend, who has a plasma monster form. Booster competed against him for Petra's affection. When Mira and XR fired a laser at his plasma monster form, he destabilized enough to the brink of explosion. He was prevented from explosion when Booster used his suit and ion stabilization matrix on him. He's now a member of Star Command. 42 Voiced by Joy Bahar, usually the name of Buzz Lightyear's ship, it gained AI from one of the encounters with the Valkyran Raiders and a new energy projector device inserted on the ship by the LGMs. 42 doesn't like what Buzz says about her and usually controls the ship herself. XR developed a crush on her. When the Valkyran raiders were thwarted, 42's consciousness was placed into a robot body and she now helps the LGMs. Villains <inaudible> 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 Evil Emperor Zerg, voiced by Wayne Knight, main antagonist of the series. 
rules an empire on planet Z, and wants to rule the entire galaxy while destroying Star Command. Emperor Zerg considers Buzz his arch enemy and often takes any opportunity to eliminate him. Most of his subjects are robots. His feet double as rockets and he can transform his arms into a variety of weapons. Despite often breaking the seriousness of otherwise purely evil statements, Zerg is widely considered the most evil person in the galaxy, especially by the other villains. He seems to have some neuroses about being touched. In some episodes is shown being sinister. The episode War, and Peace and War was notably the only episode where Zerg teamed up with Buzz Lightyear to defeat the Heed, a common enemy that was trying to take over their galaxy. In Stranger Invasion, he revealed himself to be Buzz's father a parody upon The Empire Strikes Back and a nearly identical scene in Toy Story 2, but quickly took it back, using the statement as a made you look in order to stun Buzz and gain the upper hand. Grubbs voiced by Frank Welker, Zerg's equivalents to the LGMs of Star Command though far less competent. They perform mechanical and technical duties. The Grubbs work for Zerg against their will and also desire freedom, but many of them are simply too afraid to try to defect. Brain pods various voices for each one, cybernetic brains in mobile jars, who serve Zerg as scientists and researchers. Although they take pride in their creations, they secretly harbor a desire to escape from Zerg's control. Two of which are shown succeeding in doing so on screen. Hornets, the Hornets are Zerg's robotic foot soldiers, extremely expendable, lousy shots and always get vaporized in mass numbers by Lightyear's team. Hornets come in different models, but the most frequently seen are yellow and of average height. Warp Dark Matter voiced by Diedrich Bader was once Buzz's partner and friend, but he had been secretly working for Zerg since his Academy days as a double agent and also betrayed Star Command. He eventually began working for him full-time as Agent Z. His right arm is robotic with various weapon attachments and was grafted to his body after becoming Agent Z. Warp often takes on assignments for Zerg and is paid quite handsomely. He owns a moon and a summer home, though Buzz has vowed to bring him in for treason, he retains some hope that there is still some good in him. Gravitina voiced by Kerry Kenny Silver, a large-headed female villain with mental control over gravity. One of Zerg's allies and once hired to destroy Star Command. She's in love with Buzz and later his evil counterpart. NOS-4A2 Voiced by Craig Ferguson, NOS-4A2 is a robotic vampire created by Zerg. He is capable of draining any system or entity driven by electrical power, as well as controlling any machine he bites. His bite in combination with radioactive moonrock also transformed Ty Parsec into Wirewolf. Using Wirewolf and XL, he briefly usurped control of Planet Z from Zerg and attempted to transform everyone in the galaxy into robots for him to feed on, but was defeated and destroyed. His name is a pun on the term Nosferatu. Talk voiced by Brad Garrett, minor alien villain who committed crimes of terrorism, smuggling, arson, and unpaid parking tickets. After being freed from a prison transport by Zerg's Hornets, the Grubs implanted a cell separation device upon his chest. Talk then possesses the ability to create duplicate versions of himself. They are unstable, however, as a single laser blast is enough to destroy them. In the taking of PC-7, he tried to turn Booster Evil and later Buzz with a memory-altering device built by the Warden of PC-7. The same device also made Talk temporarily at least a heroic good guy. Talk riding a motorcycle-shaped spacecraft and his duplication abilities seem to be a reference to the character Lobo, who was also voiced by Brad Garrett in his DCAU appearances. 
XL voiced by Bobcat Goldthwait, XR's predecessor and technically older brother, who was shut down due to his villainous attitude. When he was reactivated by Zerg, XL rebuilt himself into a larger, more powerful robot with cutting edge and stolen robot parts. His head is red, whereas XR's is yellow. He infiltrates Star Command numerous times because its command codes are in his head. Like XR, he considers Commander Nebula his father, though he resents him for shutting him down. He later redeems himself and is converted into an office managing robot capable of photocopying, collating, and other office related functions. His name is a pun referring to his size extra large. Wirewolf, a space ranger that patrolled the planet Canis Lunis until an attack from NOS-4A2. While Ty was in combat with the energy vampire, NOS-4A2 flew himself and Ty up into the beam, that gives power to the planet from the moon's radioactive energy, and bit into Ty's skin. After NOS-4A2 fled, Ty started to mutate into some sort of electronical canine later given the title of Wirewolf. When having discovered that this transformation only happens in the light of the Canis Looney's moon, Buzz told Booster to destroy the moon. Once the moon was destroyed, Team Lightyear believed that the Wirewolf was finished until NOS-4A2 gave Ty a Canis Looney's moonrock. When NOS-4A2 was destroyed, Ty was turned back to normal ending the curse of the Wirewolf. <laughs> Galactic Alliance Madam President voiced by Ros Ryan, head of the Galactic Alliance. Her real name is unknown. Senator Aarf Vox voiced by Jim Cummings, a Shrigorikian senator. Senator Banda voiced by Dan Castellaneta, a Bathyosian senator. Senator Hammerhold voiced by Corey Burton, Petra Hammerhold's father. Senator Flemex voiced by Frank Welker, a slime-emitting senator. Other characters Becky voiced by Rusi Taylor, a little alien girl from the planet Roswell. She befriended Booster whom she calls Pickles when Team Lightyear's ship crashed on her planet. Brent Starkisser voiced by Corey Burton, the galaxy's reporter. Cosmo voiced by Paul Rugg, an alien that owns and runs the diner that Team Lightyear eats at. He has a mechanical arm as well as a foreign accent. Dr. Animus voiced by Tony J, the galaxy's therapist. Dr. Ozma Furbana voiced by Linda Hamilton, lead and only naturalist on planet Khan. She favors all animals, even the lethal carnivores, and hates to have them hurt, no matter what. Has a crush on Buzz, won't admit it, though, and vice versa. Zerg once used her help to hatch the millennial entirely ticklish bugs where Zerg will use them on Capital Planet. Ed voiced by Paul Rugg, a courier who somehow always knows how to track down Buzz Lightyear. Officer Pinchex voiced by Brian Doyle Murray, a fish policeman who helped Buzz Lightyear fight Minister Galaris. Professor Trifford voiced by Joel Murray, a scientist from Rhizome. He cares a lot for the plants there. Savvy SL2 voiced by Cree Summer, her adopted robot parents were attacked by NOS-4A2 in the Slayer, which lead her to hunting him down for revenge. Sheriff of Roswell voiced by Stephen Root, Becky's father and ally of Team Lightyear. King Nova voiced by John O'Hurley, Myra's father and the ruler of Tangier. Being more tradition-bound he clearly disapproves of his daughter being a space ranger and therefore has a complicated relationship with her as well as Buzz. 
but regardless of his pompous nature he still cares about his daughter and also came to her aid when she had developed a power addiction and helped her get over it, though he almost got his wish of getting his daughter back in this instance had Buzz not saved her career through a cover story. Santa Claus voiced by Earl Bowen, the holiday figure, who delivers presents to all the good people in the galaxy during the holiday. He previously used a sleigh powered by belief and later time manipulation to accomplish this massive task. Zerg stole his time manipulation device to destroy the holiday for everyone, prompting Santa to seek Team Lightyear's help. The Fixer voiced by Ed Asner, a character from Trade World. He sells robotic parts to people around Trade World, and once tricked XR into delivering a package to XL. Crumford Lorac voiced by John Favreau, a conman, informant and criminal commonly seen on Trade World. When this guy gets the chance, he always tricks or turns on the first ranger he sees. Rentwistle Swack voiced by French Stewart, an unscrupulous conman who will do anything for money. Topic: Planets and Moons. There are many planets in this series. Among these planets are Bathyus, an ocean planet. Beta Bayou, a bottom feeder hunter that Rentwistle Swack rendezvous with is from this planet. Binipinadia, a planet that contained a devolution gas. Canis Lunis, a planet where Ty Parsec was turned into Wirewolf by NOS-4A2. The name derives from the Latin words for canine and moon. Capital Planet, the Galactic Alliance members meet here and the Earth of the galaxy. Gargantia, a planet inhabited by tiny aliens. Joad, an agricultural planet which is Booster's home planet. Khan, a planet that serves as a creature reserve. Dr. Ozma Furbana works here. LGM Homeworld Green Planet and Buzz Lightyear Astro Blasters, the home planet of the LGMs. The Unimind is located here. Mahamba 6, a resort planet. North Polaris, Santa Claus's planet, populated by Elf GM S, the galaxy's version of the North Pole. Ola 5, Zerg used this planet to hatch the Millennial Bugs in one of his plans to attack Capital Planet. PC-7, a prison planet. Planet X, a somewhat desert-like planet with no name or life. Home of an ancient city and the temple containing Natron. Planet Z, Zerg's planet where his home base is located. Portulon, a planet where its inhabitants look like large toilets. Raynock, the Raynock self-titled planet. Rexon 5 Rhizome, a vegetation planet which is Professor Trifford's home world. Roswell, a planet similar to Earth in 1947. The inhabitants of Roswell are gray aliens. An incident happens there, somewhat like the real Roswell incident, but with the roles of the alien and human inverted, the humans being the visitors and the aliens being the skeptical government. E.g. in it a grey police station commander said, And I suppose they had big flappy mouths and little bitty eyes. When querying one of his men's statement about seeing landing humans, Sands de Soleil, a resort moon. Destroyed by an out-of-control freight ship. Centilla 6, a stormy planet with lava rivers. Shrigarak, Senator Arfvarks's home planet. Sitka 7, a ski resort planet. Tangia, Myra's home planet inhabited by two races, the Tangian Royals and Grounders. The name is based on the royal's ability to become intangible. Trade World, a commercial-oriented world where lesser bad guys hang out. 
Verdensha, a peaceful planet. Uncharted Moon, the very moon where we see Buzz and Warp in The Adventure Begins also where Buzz thought Warp was killed but later discovered that he started working for Zerg disguised as the mysterious Agent Zed and that the explosion only damaged Warp's arm forcing him to get a new, robotic, arm with multiple weapons programmed in it. Episodes. Topic UPN two thousand Topic ABC two thousand two thousand and one Topic Broadcast and Syndication The series was aired during UPN's Disney's 1-2 programming block from October 2000 to August 2003. It also aired on Disney Channel from October 2000 to August 2003 and again from June 5, 2006 to May 16, 2008, when it was taken off the air in the U.S. The show also aired on Toon Disney from 2003 to 2007. Topic Awards and Nominations Daytime Emmy Awards 2001 Outstanding Sound Editing, Special Class, Jennifer Mertens, Packer Thomas, Otis Van Osten, Rick Hamill, Eric Hartsquad, Robbie Smith, Brian F. Mars, Mark S. Perlman, and Dominic Serto won. Home media The episode, ''Planet of the Lost'' was released on VHS as a sampler tape in 2003. <laughs> Video game A video game titled Buzz Lightyear of Star Command was developed by Traveler's Tales and published by Activision, and released for PlayStation, Game Boy Color, Microsoft Windows, and Dreamcast in 2000. The gameplay revolves around Buzz chasing down the various villains from the show, and defeating them using different color-coded weapons. Cultural references Buzz's house and everyone else's houses on Capital Planet are based an attraction at Disneyland called Monsanto House of the Future which existed from 1957 to 1967, whilst Star Command is visually based on Space Mountain. The episode, Strange Invasion is a spoof of the Roswell incident right down to the alien autopsy film and the weather balloon cover-up. Also keeping in line with the Roswell incident, the planet they crash on is called Roswell, and it bears a strong resemblance to the American Southwest. Its inhabitants, meanwhile, resemble the gray aliens. The Roswellian Sheriff and Barber are spoofs of Sheriff Andy Taylor and Floyd the Barber on The Andy Griffith Show. When Buzz and Booster returned to Roswell in the episode, Stranger Invasion, they end up attending a tea party hosted by the little girl Booster befriended during their first visit. While Booster wears the same outfit he did in Strange Invasion, Buzz wears the same outfit he did as Mrs. Nesbitt in Toy Story at Hannah Phillips' tea party. In the episode, Stranger Invasion, Buzz Lightyear and the evil Emperor Zerg engage in a confrontation similar to a lightsaber battle, in which Zerg distracts Buzz by claiming he's his father. Zerg also stated that he was Buzz's father in Toy Story 2, in which the scene parodied The Empire Strikes Back. 
Both the name of the last episode and the number of Buzz's ship, 42, are almost certainly references to the answer to life, the universe, and everything from the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy series. In the episode, Star Crossed, one of the characters is seen ordering food from Pizza Planet, which appeared as a space themed restaurant in Toy Story. Pizza Planet was a Toy Story themed pizza restaurant in Disney's Hollywood Studios from December 15, 1995 to January 19, 2016, and the Pizza Planet, which was formerly Red Rocket's Pizza Port. <laughs> <laughs> 